Welcome to another edition of uh, 42 Straight Years In, Volume 1, Part 32. I'm going to touch on a couple things that was left in the comment section. One guy wanted to know what happened to the building tenders after Ruiz versus Estelle found order. Well, most of them were transferred to other prisons. The one at East Ham was transferred to the Ramsey 3 unit. That is the terror unit now. They were all rounded up and transferred there. Uh, it was a couple of scragglers left behind who prior to the lawsuit had, uh, well, prior to the final order, had lost their job and they were now just regular inmates. Well, one of those guys was killed in the child hall. Got killed in, for for a past assault. And uh, yeah, all the bad ones they were they were transferred. They did not leave them on the unit. It would have been open season on. Matter of fact, when they got rid of them at East Ham, they moved them all to the same cell block. They all moved to Island. Now, one building tunnel from the Ramsey unit named Freddy Brazil, uh, he had raped this guy's brother, his young brother. And when he got out, got made to the bus station in Houston, a guy killed him with a 12 gauge and got away with it. So they did get attacked on the outside. Had another one from Dallas. They went by and shot his mom's house up. So his mom contacted him and tell him, whatever the hell you're doing in that prison, you need to stop. So uh, he dropped his building to the job and started working in the laundry. I had a technique that I would use against him. At East Ham, they had a board right in front of the cell block once you enter the door with all the living quarters on it. They got these little cards for every cell. They go by race. A black guy have a blue card, white guy a white card, Hispanic have an orange card. So I'd go by that board and look and get his name and number. And he up for parole. I'd get that information to my mother and she'll write the parole board or call the parole board and protest his parole. Back then, anybody could protest your parole. Now it gotta be the crime victim uh, immediate family or the trial officials. So back then, anybody could protest it. Once we had this building to him, he he was just bragging about his parole hearing. I already had sent the information to my mother. He went, made parole, got him at the Walls unit to be released, a protest hit. So they brought him back to East Ham. The second time, they did him like that again. He came back crying. He came in the day room, man, I don't know what you guys doing, man. I don't bother you guys. Well, he never personally beat guys up, but he's still part of the team. When they run out on somebody, hell, he's right there with them. He quit his job and started working in the fucking lunch. So we did do a little uh, covert shit to these motherfuckers. Uh, also, a former Bill and Tunnel from the Ramsey unit. He's right here in Dallas right now. Occasionally I see him riding by when I'm in the downtown area. He is the richest black man in Dallas. An ex-convict from the Ramsey unit. No black guy in Dallas has more money than this guy. He owned a chain of 31 restaurants. And he's the richest black man in Dallas. Also, there's another guy who killed a turnkey at the Clemens unit in Brazover, which is right down the highway from the Ramsey unit. I'm not going to call his name, but he owns a building downtown Dallas. And he got his business set up in there. He got a computer firm. And this is one of the guys also that earned a doctorate degree in prison. Guy walked by this building, don't never know. This is owned by a, a, convict, a former convict owns this building. I'm going to give a brief 
summary on some of the Texas prison units. I'm going to start with the Beto unit in Tennessee Colony. The Beto, the Beto unit houses 3,150 inmates with an additional 321 inmates in the trustee count. 131 inmates at that prison are serving life without parole. 402 is serving life sentences. Now in Texas, they calculate 60 years as a life sentence. I'm not calculating that way. I'm counting guys who actually got L-I-F-E. Go up to the Cofield unit. It houses 3,818 with a trustee camp that houses an additional 321. 126 life without parole inmates, 473 life sentences. Go up to the Robinson unit in Abilene, Texas. It houses 2,984 inmates. It's a Michael type unit. They don't have a trustee camp. The trustees live in, in the outside dorms. It houses 117 life without parole inmates, 273 life sentences. Go up to the Telford unit, which is in New Boston, Texas, right outside of Texas County. It houses 2,872 inmates, 127 life without parole, 376 life sentences. Now, now how in the fuck would you want to be in a prison with all these fucking guys? You got nothing to lose. You know what keeps them in line? A lot of them avoid each other. That keeps the problem down. And consequences. A lot of guys, are, they don't want to spend time in AXC. It's hard enough being in general population. Well, you go to AXC, your time just increased tenfold. You're going to do some hard fucking time. Like I said over and again, Texas do not give you money. They do, do not provide hygiene items, nothing. So you don't have none of that stuff or no way to gain it. Or you will gain, remember, your homeboys will try to help you out. They'll slide different stuff down to you. But it ain't nothing like having your own money. You at your homeboy's mercy if you don't get money in. Just suppose his money don't come in. Then what you going to do? Okay, they also had a grant grad program for gang members in ASC is a gang renunciation and dis disassociation process. It's a year long process where you are debrief. You must give them pertinent information that they can verify before you is moved to one of the units where the grad program is housed, which is the Ramsey unit and this, the Ellis unit in Huntsville. And you must successfully so complete that program in order to be released to general population. And if you release the general population, they will send you to a unit that does not have a lot of gang activity. And it might be a gang activity going on there, but they won't be a STG. In Texas, it's a different STG is a security threat group. Those are prison gangs. Bloods, Crip, Congo Blast. Latin kings, they look at those as disruptive groups. That's why they live in population and the STGs live in Ad C. If you see a gang member walking out on the rec yard with a big TS on him or Emmy patch or ABT patch, you know one thing, this guy done X out of his game. In Texas, you would not flunk gang membership. You would not do it. Also, if you're a gang member, that information is turned over to the Department of Public Safety, who in turn notifies that county. They put all that information in their gang file. Some of the guys got the big tattoos right upside their head. How would you like having a jury trial? And they say, he's a former gang member. How you gonna lie out of that? The shit is right upside your head. You advertise it. So you know you're gonna get maximum punishment because they're gonna play on the jury sympathy. Hey, this is a gang member. He's cold blooded. You know, you're going to get maximum sentence. They ain't going to even cut you no slack whatsoever. The guy asked me about inmates out of other states. I seen guys in Texas prison from California. Only thing they could agree on about Texas is Texas feedback. They give you more food in California. 
Because here they load the food up. It might not be worth a shit, but you're going to get enough food. They're going to put a lot of food on your tray. Now, I've seen them always talking about in Cali we do this. In Cali, I don't see none of them raise hell in no Texas. Not one of them motherfuckers do shit when they get over here. Because guess what? He got to stand by his damn self. No homies. You got to get out in that water by your damn self. We had a little Hispanic guy on the cell block with us. They called Khalifas. He said he was Emmy at San Quentin. He had did about 30 years in San Quentin. Man, that guy be pissed in the day room. He looking at some of these black guys got Hispanic pumps. Some of the white guys got them or vice versa. I, so the guys just didn't like the way he sit in the day room and look. He never would say nothing. So they called him in that one day when he was coming from shower. They jacked his ass up. So, hey, man, you got anything you want to get off your mind? You don't want no trouble. So guess what? He got to be by his damn self. And, you know, most of the time if a guy got to stand on his own two feet, you ain't going to get no drama from him. I always tell a guy, the best thing about a game is when you face with a game, you have a game. And you'd be surprised how they're going to mediate that problem. They're going to come to a mediation. When you match up man for man, you ain't going to have that many problems. Okay, you got 12 guys got shanks. I got 10 got shanks. Now what's up? They ain't going to be shit. No problem whatsoever. Uh, guy want me to talk about uh, Johnny Murray. I'm going to have to do that in another video. And also in Dallas in recent 45 days, we done had four capital murders committed by young guys, all of them under 21 years old, carjacking people, killing them for a fucking pickup truck, killed this old man for his pickup truck. Then when he carjacked another lady for her car, they fought him on camera all over Dallas until they located and arrested all four of them. Their life is over with. In the city of Dallas, do not even play that bullshit. There's no way you're going to get mitigated sentence. You're going to get maximum sentence. And they already snitched on each other. This one saying he shot. This one saying he, this one shot. They all telling it on each other. But they'll get in prison and get with their little buddies, their little street gangs, and they tough all of a sudden. You motherfucker snitched when you was out here. Why you got to snitch on your fucking homeboy? You're going to get a life sentence. You got that coming. Anyway, I forgot. I still got my motherfucking shank. I forgot it earlier. The crackhead's been cool. Maybe the trap house done ran out of dope or they can't find a plug. They cool. I seen one ride by on a bicycle talking to his damn self. I let him go on about his business. Stay ready at all times and let's ride. Like and subscribe and I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.